power functions of the form of ax to the power n. In this form, if we look at the case that n is an odd number, the function could be in the form of f of x equals x to the first, or f of x equals x to the third, or f of x equals x to the fifth, as you see the graph, is from the left to the right, we can see that x can be any numbers from the negative to positive, or we can say that if n is an odd number, the domain of the function will be the set of real numbers as well as the range of the function. In the case that n is an even number, as you see the examples here, f of x equals x to the second, x to the fourth, x to the sixth, the graph appears on the upper part of the xy plane where the x could be any number from the left to the right or are real numbers, but the y or the function value appears only the upper part, which is the value from zero to infinity, including the zero. So that's a difference between the n odd and n even number. For the power functions of the form ax to the power negative n, recall when you have the negative power, you can rewrite as the positive power in the reciprocal form of that term. In this case, if we look at the n as an odd number, for example, x to the power negative first is rewritten in the form one over x. When you see the fraction or the rational form, the denominator cannot be zero that makes the function undefined at x equals zero. So we have the vertical line x equals zero as the vertical asymptote. We have the graph on the left and on the right, similar to the, the other graph as x to the power negative third, right in the reciprocal form of one over x to the third. Again, x is not defined as zero. So we have the vertical asymptote at x equals zero. Another example is similar way x to the power negative fifth, or is one over x to the fifth, but the graph behaves the same way, just in the case that you know it's deeper or it goes faster with the higher power, something like that. So from the graph of the three functions here, we can make a note that for n is an odd number, the graph of the function ax to the power negative n has a domain as the negative x value and the negative and the positive x value and skip the point zero as well as the range from negative infinity to zero union with the set of the numbers of from zero to infinity and the case that the n is an even number for example the function f of x equals x to the power negative second in the reciprocal form, which is one over x squared, again, when you see the reciprocal form or the fraction form, the denominator cannot be zero. x equals zero is still the vertical asymptote of this type of the function. But when you see the given power, it doesn't matter the number is negative or positive quantity. When you raise to the second power, the fourth power, or the sixth power, or any kind of even power, the result going to return in a positive value. Therefore, the graph will remain in the non-negative portion of the y-axis. Then we can summarize this as the domain of the function a x to the negative n, where n is an even number, is the set of the number that is less than zero and the number union with the set of the number that greater than zero. Or we can say that is the negative infinity to zero union with zero to infinity, where the range, it appears on the upper part, not including zero. Or we can say that is the set of the number from zero to infinity. In the case of the power functions of the form ax to the power one over n, we call the power one over n is the same as the n root of the quantity x. For the case that n is an odd number, x to the one over one, or the first root of x, which is the same as the x, 
x to the power one third is the same as the third root of the x. x to the one fifth is the same as the fifth root of the x. You see the graph as the domain is the set of all real numbers. And at the same time, the range is also the set of all real numbers. And we can say that domain is the set from infinity to positive infinity, same as the range. For the even root or x to the one half, which is the square root, x to the one fourth, which is the fourth root, x to the one sixth, which is the sixth root. The domain with the restriction of the even index, the input has to be non-negative number. So the input x or the domain gonna be the set of any x that's greater than or equal to zero or starting from zero to positive infinity where the range is going to be any number from zero to infinity as well.